COVID-19 pandemic chronology video for today, 10 December 2022, it's Saturday, and got upbeat the meerkat wearing its a scarf and reindeer antlers, and uh, upbeat the gray squirrel. They're like, hello, so just just saying hi, and then. <clears throat> And then, yeah, and, and now they're sitting over there. And <laughs> so my update for today, so the two to three week pandemic weight regulation plan, tentatively 17 days, so ending tomorrow. So today is day 16, and I've successfully been at calories, an exercise, or whatever the deal was for the day um, for all 15 days leading up to today. For my update on Monday, I'll do a reflection on if it was successful, if I am successful, and how it went. And I've come up with talking points for some of these videos for updates, for pandemic-related updates. Um, so I'll reflect on that. Like, did did they work? Did the talking points, because sometimes the talking points require me thinking about them. So it's a form of distraction, but not like a direct distraction, like a back burner. Do I, do I, what do I need to remember to say? Kind of thing. And so I've been successful thus far. It's day 13 on a uh, attempting a, so a successful a 14 day streak on the Tannis diet with PMS modifications, which it would end tomorrow. And I'm partway done with my exercise for the day and I'm partway done with my calories for the day. So that's the check-in for today. Uh, successful each day thus far, but I still have today and tomorrow to go. And then I'll, I intend to do a reflection anyway on Monday. And that is kind of the pandemic weight regulation plan update, or is. And then second part is my life. I So I got my first mineral kit in something like 19... 95 I was approximately two or three years old or three years old plus or minus a year or something uh, so I don't remember the exact year but I was approximately two or three if I'm recalling correctly and I am a mineralogist and I do have training in mineralogy I have work experience in mineralogy I have research experience in mineralogy I have a degree in geology and geophysics my first international prize was a mineralogy prize and so my COVID-19 pandemic talking point for today is kind of related to some of the pandemic daydreaming I've been doing or like 30 year vision stuff. And it, the, the talking point is, do I miss minerals? Do I miss mineralogy? And so, yes. And I was thinking of the pandemic daydreams I was talking about. So let's say my husband's my soulmate let's say my soulmates and i move in together and move to russia and maybe the two upbeats go to i mentioned i could see like a 30-year vision of running and like writing and publishing through lucky wallaby courier and maybe going back to school getting a degree and like working on like creep phenomenon and <laughs> so like kind of mechanical engineering mechanical behavior of materials is it also material science um, maybe getting a job in manufacturing or something um but one of those is possible kind of let's say my <laughs> my soulmates arrive right now or like five seconds from that you know, that kind of thing today and take me and m we move to russia for example and I can start on the running thing right away, um, or we could if they wanted to train with me. So that's a immediately executable. The other two are there. There's a little bit of methodical progress, so it's not as immediate start. So could I return to something that I've been doing a long time that I enjoy as kind of a cognitive balance to running? And minerals came to mind. Mineralogy came to mind, and. So I was thinking like, oh, there's a house in Russia and you know? there's a house and then and I'm looking at the front door or something like that. And then over here is a all weather indoor track that we can go no matter the weather. And then over here is an outdoor track 
um, that we can run at. We might have to do some shoveling if there's snow or something. And then over here is a top pot donut. Um, you know, if they want to come and there's my Shane and my Andre make the hand forge their standard top pot donuts, but they also get to experiment with making new donuts and new flavors, their own concoctions. And then behind the house or in front of the house, or I don't know which direction the house is facing, is a multi-story research and development laboratory with many minerals and rocks including i have i have boxes slash bins full of rocks and minerals and maybe other ones too and maybe there's like a floor and on one floor is reagan smith and she's working on vivian knight and summer mcintosh and she's working on kyanite and zoe saldana and she's working on elbite and Lydia Jacoby with a pair of really big gloves working on teeny tiny little cinnabar crystals which have mercury in them so one might not want to touch with their hands. However, I have touched <laughs> cinnabar with my hands. So, mercury is technically only bad if you ingest it. But yeah. I sweat. Yeah. Okay. And then maybe on another floor there's lots of gray squirrels getting ch like my squirrels and my soulmate squirrels getting chased by my Kyle's lizards and the lions, li <laughs> my Kyle's lion lizards, so our, our lizards are chasing the squirrels around the floor. You know, we got the lion lizard up on its two little back feet, like a little uh, dinosaur chasing around the squirrels. <laughs> and my Kyle and my Adam Petey share a microscope and you know, Kyle's lizards can be very friendly, and so they hump Adam Petey as <laughs> he's using the microscope. And, um, and oh, I guess there's, so the, my Kyle's lizards have been known to hump MP um, on things and people, and, and it's especially my soulmates, and why do they do that? It's the lizards think they and are communicating that they are standing in for me because I cannot be there um, doing that kind of thing so they're very sweet lizards and they get along with the squirrels at least some of the time so we know it was just like we don't so the the ever bonding and ever growing relationship between my kyle's reptiles and my rodents and the children getting along so to speak and then at another station is my shane and another lab partner pair is like <laughs> my Shane and my Nicolo working on rocks from all around the world and like polishing samples. And then there's me and my Chad Le Leonardi who we like to take and we're like we go every story and everybody gets to explore everywhere and it's like a YouTube setting and Wikipedia editing setting and Yelp editing setting you know like going through and you know can curate and create and publish all they want wherever they want maybe on another floor chad Leonardi and i venture down to an adventure room and the adventure room has maps empty journals packs rock hammers in like globes and you can grab a bag and a pack and pack the next bag for some field work out in the boondocks of russia somewhere looking at some ultra mythic beauties volcanic rocks and then so, there's equipment in an experimental petrology laboratory uh, in this research and development laboratory as well and there are very nice microscopes like you know, the ones I got trained on were like 10,000 plus a piece so everybody kind of gets to use a microscope for their own or share to you know develop just kind of responsibility, taking care of an appliance or an expensive piece of equipment used for work. And then, so there's like X-ray ray tomography, possibly, Ooh. <laughs> as well as you know, vertical tube furnaces, high temperature tube furnaces for experimental petrology. And then outside of the building are Five million mice running around the building consistently, continuously, in a counterclockwise direction. So minerals. Yeah. So that's my, that's my, do I miss minerals? <laughs> I spent time thinking about this. Um, yeah, I do. I really miss petrography. 
So petrography is like looking at minerals with microscopes. I miss field work. I miss collecting the samples. I miss getting getting thin sections made. I've actually made thin sections myself. A thin section is a really thin slice of rock that one looks at under a microscope. Um, that was part of my research for, I had two undergraduate theses and I did petrography for both of those projects. I miss it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And that would be like a perfect pairing with running possibly uh, if I move in with my soulmates kind of thing. So yeah, that's my, oh, is that my, I, who, who was making donuts? I don't remember if I got the names right. It was my Andre and my Drew. I don't know if I said my Andre and my Shane. My Andre and my Drew make donuts, but maybe Shane makes donuts too. Maybe we all get to make donuts. I don't know. But that's my update for today. Some fleshing out daydreaming and my weight regulation, pandemic weight regulation plan for a two to three week period.